Hello there, YouTube viewers. Um, I've, I'm new to the whole uh, making a movie thing, so I don't know if it's going to turn out all that well. But hey, I figured I might as well give it a shot. I've been doing RCs for about five or six years, and I figured I'd update YouTube on my collection here. So here's a little cart. I tend to build carts that I used to build RCs with. Uh, there's one of the carts I... I didn't build that one. Just put a few extras on it and stuff to make it work so I can build with. Anyway, um, there's a 8th scale low C8 2.0 electric conversion. It's got the Tekken setup in it. With some really nice servos. Really, really fast. High torque servos. Um, Here's just a few parts that I've got. You'll see some new receivers there for the Airtronics and the Futaba. There's some conversion kits from the Losi. Actually, this right here I got for the um, the uh, Losi Mini 8. It's a pretty cool thing. It actually makes it really, really scoot. I put that in that car right there. And um, I've just kind of pimped that one out a little bit. It's got a little bit of carbon fiber on it, things like that. So, all together there's 50 something cars. There's the SC8, there's the uh, Hyper 10 TT, there's the SC10 4x4, there's the Durango two wheel drive 10 scale, there's a Low C22, that's the practice one, it's an RTR. Um, there's the B4.1 electric, it is a uh, it's been converted to factory team, but it is a, a uh, RTR to begin with. Oops, sorry, there's my finger. There's the Durango DEX 410. That is the 2010 race spec edition with all the aluminum and carbon fiber. There's the uh, associated B44. Once again, the Mini 8. The, uh, my first attempt at an on-road car there. It's a TC5, it does pretty good. Coming down here is a um, 10, a low C10 Treggy. I put an electric conversion on that. I just took the SCTE conversion from the um, SCTE and stuck it on the 10. A little bit of following here and there and it fit right in, it was really good. There's a Jammin CRT.5. It's got the electric conversion on it. There's a, uh, ooh, a little close there. There's a Team Durango DESC 410. Uh, that was a fun kit to build. Um, just so you know, all these cars that you're looking at, they've, they've got very, very expensive electronics in them. They're all set up, ready to go, transponders. Um, usually it's a Tekken or a uh, Novak setup inside of it. I put a few speed passion just for kicks and giggles. Anyway, coming over here, we've got the 10 SCTE. Over there, we got the 22 truck. Over there, we got the Hyper 10 TT. Um, actually, that means the one on top was the Mini ST instead of the TT. You know what that is. You know what that is. There's a. Um, a little HPI ESE kit. I've never even driven that truck. And there's the Jaminus CRT10. Um, I failed to reveal what's inside of this right here. See if I can open it up. Gosh. Ouch. It's locked. Um, inside of that case is the new Traxxas X01. I'll show it probably in a different video. Here's some more cars. There's a Jam and X2 CRT with an electric kit. The um, RC 8.2 electric and the um, Hyper 9 electric from Offner. It's got that regular wing back kit on there. That's nice. Um, here's some more cars over there. I'll take you on a quick show of them. Um, this is a big green table. I actually built this table to um, cut flat glass because I own a glass company. But um, 
It's just a table that uh, now holds some of my fifth scales and things like that. You know what that is, that's a Baja 5SC, that one's got the electric conversion on it. Um, this one has, well you guys know what that is, that's a 5T from Losi, four wheel drive. It's gas and um, it sucks, it's kind of, kind of, oh there's some bicycles. It's a, it's a sucky car when it's gas, it's not nearly as fast as the electric stuff. Um, there's a 5B that I've still got gas. I figure I can't have a RC collection without having a few gas cars or nitro or whatever, but I'm, I'm telling you, that one right there versus that one right there, there's no competition. That one's electric, that one's gas, and that's got the 30.5cc ported polished. It. It's a fast gas car, but that one right there is wicked cooler in my opinion. Um, here's a few 16 scale tracks. This is there's a, a few of the little mosey short courses. Here's, this is all a bunch of minis and things. Um, over the years, you know, I just get one or two cars, play around with them, try to pimp them out a whole lot. And um, there's that new um, uh, mini 18 buggy. There's the old associated truck, you know, the Losey slider. A few more 16th scale tracks. That's a 16th scale. That's a 16th scale Losey. That's another Mini 8 buggy. Um, right there, you're looking at a desert truck, a Speed T, Rustler, and then down there, uh, it looks pretty ugly. That's a Slash 4x4, pretty nasty. SET, uh, that's short course time. And a four wheel drive stampede. Right here, you've got a low C8 Nitro. Um, little zoom and stuff, it's kind of out of focus. It's not a bad truck. Let's see what we got over here. There's a LST2, I mean, a low C double XL, that's what it is. And it's also got a brushless conversion. It's sitting right next to the 10th scale um, Revo brushless edition. And another associated short of course. This vehicle right here, I named it. My iPad case makes this weird way, I apologize. This vehicle, I named it my Masher. What it is, is a jam and truggy with a buggy chassis. When you pull it out, it actually looks like a square. It's a hilarious vehicle. That is a uh, Summit. It's got a Mamba Monster in it. Um, here's a few transmitters. The M11X, the 4PKS, Futaba. Um, hmm, what else have we got? Here's one of my charging stations. Kind of cool. This is the uh, new HPI Super 5SC Flux. Um, to be honest, the motor is a little small on this thing. Sitting atop of one of these other carts that I've built to just build RCs with, it's got a little um, toolbox, a little kit. Um, you open up that door, there's a bunch more soldering stuff, equipment, heat shrink, just a bunch of stuff. We, we sit there and build kits all day. It's kind of fun. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? I mounted that stand right there. I like to be able to work on my fifth scales in a nice, easy, convenient way. So they swivel, they go up and down. It's kind of nice, not much. Here's my battery kit. There's just uh, about every kind of lipo you could ever want in there. Um, a little bit of Max Amps. A lot of the crap, cheap Venom. Just because I'm cheap like that, that's okay by me. A uh, little toolbox. Anyhow, um, oh, golf clubs. That's uh, that's my kit right now. That, I mean, that's my that's my setup. It consists of a 50-something cars, and um, I think I'll, I'll I think what I'll do 
is when I have time I'll make videos and if you feel like looking at them you can if you don't you don't but I've learned a lot about every one of these cars and I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, and show what I've learned in doing con electric conversions and my opinions about electric conversions I live in a neighborhood where there's whiny neighbors so I gotta I gotta be careful about noise um, which is probably why I've leaned so much towards the electric side this is kind of ridiculous right here um, those are a bunch of transmitters that came with RTR vehicles that can that makes up all the transmitters that I have to have that um, aren't on my DSM transmitters I've got two of those full with 10 model memory and one of them with a 50 model memory the DX3R it's only got 20 cars on it so I've still got a lot of a lot of transmitters anyway um, that's that this one right here is kind of the cream of the crop I've probably spent as much money on this one as I have anything just because how pimped out it is um, it's a very race worthy vehicle I suck at racing personally but it was fun building it um, so like I said over the next few weeks, months, or whatever, when I've got time, I'll probably put together a video about what I've done to what cars I have. I've learned a lot about each car I've built and upgrading them and figuring out which upgrades are feasible, which ones aren't. Um, some upgrades are just stupid, and some upgrades actually make sense on a racetrack. So, and I try to race. I try to, although I suck. I try. And it's fun trying. That's all that matters to me. So, alrighty. Thanks for looking, and uh, hope to be posting another video soon.